Okay, so here we're going to give a quick demonstration of how we can bring in a Photoshop file into Final Cut Pro 10. Okay, so it's relatively easy to import the file. Um, we go to File, Import, and Media. But when we've actually got it imported, it does something a little different. So I'm navigating to this sketch that I've created in Adobe Photoshop, and it consists of just a, a few layers, one green background layer, and then three drawn layers, okay? And we're gonna have a look at how we can animate those using some different tools that are available, okay? So we'll just go ahead straight away and import the selected file, okay? Now I'm leaving the file where it is. I don't wanna keep creating copies of files and I don't want it to create any optimized media or proxy media from the get-go. I can do that later if I need it to, okay? And it's gonna import into the existing event, okay? So I'm gonna click import. Then we'll jump back into the Final Cut Pro browser up here at the top left, and we can see our Photoshop file. Now we have a slightly different icon for our Photoshop file. You can see the layers uh, listed up here. Now if we double click on this Photoshop file, you can see that actually what we're seeing, we'll just reduce the clip height here for the moment. We're actually seeing the different layers from that Photoshop document. So we can see here that if we just uh, move through these layers, I've got one layer with uh, the black line on this drawing. Okay, and I'm just pressing V to enable and disable those layers. We've got a gray layer, which is the, the shadow here, and then the white fill um, for this little sketch of a house. Okay, now one nice thing we can do here is we can use some of the really basic features within Final Cut Pro 10 to animate. Okay, so we have different layers, so we can have them um, drop in at different times, um, and we can also animate them on as well. Okay, so we're going to have a look at how to do that. So we're going to grab um, the end point of this black line, the, the topmost layer in our Photoshop document. And we're going to use in here under the video properties. Okay, so we'll still see video properties even though we're working with a, an image layer. Um, we're going to work with the crop options that we have at the bottom here. Okay, so basically this is going to trim the document. Okay, and we're going to trim it from the top. And you can see our house here kind of animating on. So I'm just going to drop this right down, okay, I'm going to turn on keyframing. I'm going to come forward in time to around three seconds, and then I'm going to come back in here and remove that cropping that I added. And you can see that between those two points I now have a keyframe at the beginning of my clip, and then at around three and a half seconds, and you can see that black line is animating on quite nicely, okay. So we'll just take that same process here, okay, and we will crop again from the top of our document, add keyframing, go to around three and a half seconds, and then turn that back on. Okay, so you can see here, we're getting the line and that shadow drawing on quite nicely here. Okay, we'll do the same with the white fill, come back down here and repeat the process. So we're cropping it all the way down and then adding a keyframe. Now once you've added one keyframe, the next keyframes will add automatically. So we'll come to three and a half seconds, and then drop that back down and you can see our house draws on. Now, at the moment, we have everything. We just zoom in on our timeline a little bit here. So we're just seeing the seconds that we need to. So you can see everything's drawing on at the same pace, okay? Which has a nice effect. But if we offset this, so we take our gray layer and our black line, and we just have these drawing on at different points in time, we get a kind of nice effect going on there. So that's a quick demo of how to animate with Photoshop layers in Final Cut Pro 10. I hope you found this useful. Um, I do run through how to create this sketch within Photoshop in another tutorial, so please do check that out, and um, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.